dealing with stress part two. Stop doing what everyone is doing. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stay in your uniqueness and go after your talents because God has anointed you for it. I became who I am today because I have seen God transforming me. He will surely do the same for you. Hello, I am Jane from Jane Liberated and I am here to let you know that God will surely answer your prayers. And I am here to also teach you how to become liberated. Freedom is my motto because I believe that God can heal you from every situation you might be facing. Every one of us has gone through stress one way or the other. So many times I personally have asked God why my circumstances keep on repeating. I prayed and I cried. But the answer I got blew my mind. God told me that instead of changing my situation, he chose to change me. So I could see things in a clearer way. God sees and hears. He knows what you are facing. He will change you so you can react to certain circumstances or the circumstances with the right attitude. But here is a question for you. Are you willing to change if your circumstances refuses to change? Many circumstances have made us stressed out just by the way we react to them. Stress, depression, anxiety, betrayal, revenge, and many others are all tools in the devil's workshop. You need to be more aware of what you allow into your mind and around you because it is not just the circumstances that changes our lives but how we react to them. This world is full of circumstances. That is why the Bible told us that in this world we will have tribulation, but in God we will find peace and we have peace. Jeremiah 16.33 Learn to pray that God should change you and how you react to situations. Rather praying the, the circumstances away, ask God to give you strength to pull through the circumstances by having the right attitude. Allow God to do his part. No matter how stressful you might be, unless you change the way you handle circumstances, it might take away the best years of your life. It might take away the best years of your life and leave you in a confused state. In part one of this series, I told you that stress eats up vital organs. Stress destroys a lot in our body. Not until we learn how to react or have the right attitude towards our stress, it's my, or we might end up in a sick state of mind. I recently watched a documentary about Tina Turner. She was the queen of rock and roll. She went through a lot of emotional torture by her husband, the man she loves. She was being taken advantage of and she wanted to end her own life. Then she met someone along the line who introduced her to meditation and she got herself and began to react to her situation with the right attitude. She began to set boundaries. She, she saw that she had allowed all the stress to get through her, through her and almost took her own life. She made a drastic decision and left the marriage. She started a new life and she became successful until she spent the last days on earth. 
Sometimes God wants us to, God wants to change us, not our circumstances, so he can bring us to that perfect plan he had for us. Tina Turner said, I don't like talking about my past. She found love again and lived a forfeit life before she died. Sometimes the circumstances we think would demolish us can open a new door of peace and happiness. So don't force it. Are you ready to let God take the lead in your life? Are you ready to allow God to change you instead of that circumstances that causes you stress? Whatever circumstances you are facing today, they can really bring out the best in you. Become spiritually matured by not demanding what you want by asking God. But ask God what the plans or what his plans are for you in life. Years back, I raised my kids all by myself. I was a hard single mother walking like crazy doing everything myself. But in the midst of all, I kept one thing going, and that was my faith in Christ. Today, my youngest is 10, and I also enjoy them now. Just them giving me a cup of coffee after I had the job. So dealing with stress is to become spiritually matured and become one with God because we are the ambassadors 2 Corinthians 5, 20. There is nothing more than allowing God to lead you instead of allowing yourself to tell God what to do for you. Take this from me. Stress is already in us. But how we react to it is what lead us to that perfect peace and plan God has marked out for us. I hope I have succeeded in adding just another value to your life today. Please, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. But remember, I am your sister in Christ. Love you all.